I, I would like to think this is not very common. Sophia Ritchie's journey to motherhood has been extremely challenging. To put it mildly, her pregnancy was exceptionally difficult. And having said that, what I'm about to share, I would happily have taken on myself in order to give birth to my children. Obviously, I wasn't able to, but thanks to three amazing surrogates, I now have three healthy, happy children, the light of my life. Sophia was most recently known as being Scott Disick's ex-girlfriend, Prior to that, she was also known as Nicole Ritchie's sister and the daughter of musician Lionel Ritchie. Well, the Nepo baby married fellow Nepo baby Elliot Grange. His father is a music industry legend, huge executive. They welcomed their first child, Eloise, back in May. Well, in a brand new interview, Sophia reveals that she was in labor, I cannot, I can't believe this. She was in labor for six weeks. Really, not even contractions, like labor. Let me read it, I don't, want, I don't want to misrepresent. Let me share with you exactly what she said. While chatting with SheMD, Sophia says, quote, at 32 weeks, I woke up and I was like, hey, I woke up and I'm really tired today. My back really hurts. I feel a little crampy. And I really thought it was going to be another one of those, yeah, babe, that's pregnancy. You're going to be fine. But you can come in if you want me to check you type situations. Well, she spoke to a fetal specialist who told her that she was in, quote, active labor. At just 32 weeks, she was in active labor. Oh. I mean, thankfully, what's the threshold? Like, is it 28 weeks, 26 weeks, 30, 30, something? I know that thanks to, you know, amazing healthcare providers and technology, they can, they can care for preemie preemies. So 32 weeks is still scary, but doable. So after finding out that she was in active labor, she went to the hospital at 32 weeks but she begged to go home after six days. And then she stayed there for over a month more, five plus more weeks, until she was finally induced at 38 weeks. But despite it being difficult to get there, Sophia says that she had, quote, a fantastic delivery. I gave birth and I was like, wow, I really did that. I did six weeks or however many weeks of contractions and I have my beautiful daughter. I'm healthy, I'm safe, she's healthy, she's safe. Unfortunately, that didn't last very long. Just two days after giving birth, Sophia started to feel sick. She says, I went home and I blew up like a balloon, quite literally, just swelled. I felt very ill. So the doctor sent over her wonderful nurse and my blood pressure was 165 over 103. The podcast co-host, a doctor, interjected to say that Sophia was experiencing something called postpartum preeclampsia. Wow, that's even rarer? I, I, I've never heard of that either. According to the Mayo Clinic, Postpartum preeclampsia is a rare condition that results when you have high blood pressure and excess protein in your urine shortly after childbirth. Wow. Sophia says that she hid in the closet and cried at the thought of having to leave her newborn to go back to the hospital, but her husband ultimately convinced her to look after herself. She says, my poor husband was like, I have to get you to the hospital because the doctor is saying it's just not safe. It's not safe that you're home. So I spent 24 hours in the hospital and it was really, really, really hard. She says she had a lot of mom guilt and that she definitely didn't want someone else taking care of her, her newborn. Sophia says, that was another thing that we talked about in the hospital. Like, yes, 
I feel so blessed and fortunate to be able to have people help me and to be able to have support, but I also am not interested in someone raising my kid. I wouldn't have had a kid if I wasn't ready to take that on. So my mom guilt has been balancing these two things. Whew. I wonder if she'll have another baby herself or, or do surrogacy for the next one because first go round was a lot for her. Have you experienced any of these things? Let me know your thoughts and, and, and all that you're thinking about this in the comments.